My name's Bob Houston, otherwise known as Robert James Houston. Okay. Um, I went to work in Full Scale Tunnel on June 10th, 1958. It was still NACA, but we knew NASA was coming. And I went to work in the boundary layer and helicopter branch, working on vertical lift. Um, my first experiment was a 35-foot span, six propeller, VTOL, deflect the slipstream, VTOL aircraft. And uh, we tested it, and we analyzed the data, and we gave, we measured air loads on the, on the, on the wing, and that particular result has been referred to many, many, many times by some other people. I, I'm, I'm aware of that, so I know that data exists. It was fun. It was fun working in the tunnel. So what was special about working in the full-scale tunnel? All the people were good people to work with. Um, Joe Walker was the head of the shop group. Uh, he, he didn't take any guff from engineers. Uh, he, uh, he taught us more than we taught him. Uh, the engineers always helped each other. I went in that first test and I had a mentor. And uh, the, the mentor made sure I didn't do anything wrong. Uh, everybody watched out for each other. Uh, I, even the, the, the newest technician was trying to help people. Uh, I ran a number of tests. I ran a, a rotor test on uh, uh, hinges rotors. Uh, we lost a rotor during the test and it smashed into one of the steel struts right about just about this high above the stairway. So if you had a tall guy going up the stairs, he would have lost his head. Um, I ran uh, tests with a main rotor and tail rotor. I lost a rotor. <laughs> uh, it went flying up through the roof and punched a hole in the roof. Um, people did have to be careful. People did have to worry about each other. Uh, I did tests on uh, a stop rotor aircraft. Um, we lost a rotor. <laughs> uh, in fact, I'm an ace. I've lost at least five rotors in different tests. Um, uh, some of the times that was pretty serious, but uh, it was it was it was good. I enjoyed it. So now, did you, did it ever strike you while you were going you through there? Back where you started. Move okay. over a little bit that yeah. way. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. You're starting to lose the light. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. That's Sorry. all right. Did it ever strike Sorry. you that you were a part of history while you were doing it? What was not really. I had just I just had a good time. It was uh, it was it was interesting. It was fun. I, I remember a series of tests where we were running two shifts and I didn't have enough engineering help, so I worked two shifts. And it was still fun, even though I did get stopped on the way home by the policeman for driving too fast because I was trying to get home and go to bed. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. How did it compare to other facilities that you worked at at NASA Mining? Uh, well, I. I I think there was more a, a, a feeling of cooperation between everybody. I think that's probably the one thing I would say. Uh, I didn't work in that many other facilities. I went off and did flight tests later on, so I didn't actually work in in, uh, in that many facilities. But it was uh, it was it was fun. There was always something interesting going on. I remember one time I was trying to run a test and we got interrupted by uh, Neil Armstrong's uh, uh, lunar lander and, and it kept delaying my test and delaying my test and it was like six months before I could get in because they were still running that particular test, trying to make it safe so that they could go to the moon. Uh, that, that was just one thing that I, that I do remember. But it, you know, we lived with it. So that was, that was what happened. And, uh, so were you peeved that uh, the lunar lander? No, not really. Not really. <laughs> we were just as much interested in what they were doing as, uh, as anything else. 
Uh, Clyde McLemore took over the V2L model and Clyde is one of the people that's here today and uh, you can probably get him to tell you some, some interesting stories.